The Minister of Education, who admitted that the government has not fulfilled its own part of the agreement with the university lecturers, however said as to took government unawares this time around, as the leadership of the union called for the strike without following due process. I should confess, the government has not fulfilled its part of the bargain. Even though I'm just very unhappy that uh, us who went on this strike without following due process and giving us good notice. But we realize that we have promised something and we do not fulfill it. I hope I'll be meeting, meeting them later today or tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll be able to reach some agreement so that the, the strike will be called off as soon as possible. While assuring the university teachers of government's preparedness to give due consideration to their demands, the education minister insists that the federal government cannot exclude universities from the Treasury's single account as demanded by ASU. They have requested that they should be allowed of the TSA, and I think government will not do this. But there are some peculiar uh, funds in the university like uh, endowments which I, I'm sure you know are money kept and out of the interest that they generate, prizes and so on are given. Government will exempt that one only. But universities, despite the peculiarities they say they are in the allowance in some of their funds, they just must log on. The Minister of Education, who said he would be meeting with the leadership of ASU this Wednesday to continue negotiations in an attempt to get the lecturers back to the classroom, noted that government has the capacity to meet the financial demands of ASU.